GoDaddy provides Microsoft 365 at very reasonable prices. But in this video, I'm gonna give you three giant reasons why you shouldn't buy your Microsoft 365 from GoDaddy. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT and we help our customers with their IT support and the cyber security. I was wondering if you could do me a quick favour. If you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. So you're starting a new business venture. Congratulations. One of the first thing that people do when they start a new business is look for an available domain name. So you'll jump online and you'll look for a company who you can buy a domain name from. During this process, you'll most likely stumble across GoDaddy. So GoDaddy are one of the biggest domain registrars in the world. They've got a huge advertising budget, so you'll find them on Google, and you might even see them on TV. So you go ahead and you buy your domain name through GoDaddy. And then at checkout, you're offered Microsoft 365. Now you've heard of Microsoft 365, and within your new business, you're gonna want email, you're gonna want some file storage, which is stored in the cloud, and you might get a lot from Microsoft Teams. And GoDaddy are offering Microsoft 365 at a very reasonable price. But when it comes to anything technical like Microsoft 365, you're wondering how you can set it up. You're not an IT guru and your business isn't big enough for an IT department. It's a new business after all. And you don't really know a specialist IT person. But that's okay because GoDaddy are offering a very simple setup. They'll help you with it. So what's not to love? So let's just backtrack just a little bit. Let's talk about the relationship between GoDaddy and Microsoft. Back in 2014, GoDaddy and Microsoft got together with a strategic partnership. The partnership was aimed at offering GoDaddy's vast client base, Microsoft 365 services. Now, if you take a closer look at the Microsoft 365 offerings from GoDaddy, you'll see the first inconsistencies. GoDaddy offer their own versions of Microsoft 365. GoDaddy offer a business essentials package, a business professional package, and an advanced security package. Now, if we take a look at the Microsoft 365 website, you'll see that these packages don't exist. They're simply GoDaddy's rebranded versions. The GoDaddy Business Essentials package is a little bit like the Microsoft 365 Business Basic package. The GoDaddy Business Professional package is a little bit like the Microsoft 365 Business Standard package. Okay, so GoDaddy is rebranding Microsoft 365 packages. What I can hear you say is, what exactly is the problem here? Well, I am here today to tell you to resist and to not buy Microsoft 365 from GoDaddy. And I've got three really big reasons why you shouldn't. So let's go into those right now. The first reason why you shouldn't buy your Microsoft 365 through GoDaddy is because their Microsoft 365 doesn't scale very well. GoDaddy's Microsoft 365 is designed for really small businesses. Even on the website, you can buy Microsoft 365, but it does say that if you've got more than 10 users, you've got to contact them. You can't buy online. So if you've got plans to scale your business, past 10 users, the chances are that down the line, you're gonna to have to migrate your Microsoft 365 away from GoDaddy and to, well, Microsoft. The second reason why you shouldn't buy your Microsoft 365 via GoDaddy is because it offers really limited features. Basically, it's just a GoDaddy shell built on top of Microsoft 365. If you just want in basic email, then Microsoft 365 via GoDaddy might be okay. But the chances are your business is gonna grow and your technology requirements might become just a little bit more advanced than basic email. Take, for example, you might want to use a CRM like HubSpot. Now, HubSpot has a really good Outlook plugin that you can use with Microsoft 365, but you can't use it with Microsoft 365 via GoDaddy because GoDaddy doesn't allow that third-party app integration. 
and there might be even more advanced features that you need as your company grows. Perhaps you get to a point where you want to outsource your IT support to an IT support company. That IT support company might want to manage all of your devices within Microsoft 365 centrally, but they won't be able to do that if you're using GoDaddy. So again, if you're just wanting basic email, sending and receiving, GoDaddy might be okay, but anything slightly more advanced and you're gonna run into problems and you'll eventually have to migrate your email from GoDaddy's Microsoft 365 just to Microsoft. And the third reason why you shouldn't use GoDaddy's Microsoft 365 is because of potential signing problems. GoDaddy's signing is nested within Microsoft and there's rumors that it can cause signing problems with other Microsoft services. Now, if you're a new business and you're about to sign up for Microsoft 365 via GoDaddy, then I hope this video just stops you in your tracks a little bit. Perhaps you've already made that leap. Perhaps you're a small business and you use Microsoft 365 already through GoDaddy. If that's the case, what are your options? Now, believe it or not, this is quite a common occurrence. My IT company does about two projects every month like this. We receive a phone call from a company, a small business who have signed up for Microsoft 365 via GoDaddy and have run into a couple of problems. So what we do is we set up a brand new Microsoft 365 system and we migrate that company from GoDaddy to the normal Microsoft 365. Now, this isn't a project that you should undertake on your own because it's quite tricky. But if you're watching this video and you need help with that, then just let me know. So this is my final thought. Rather than GoDaddy, perhaps we should call it NoDaddy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.